Hi guys, welcome to another exclusive tournament with match points. This is the second week in June and we have a standard tournament of eight boards with match point scoring. So let's have a look what scores are in the top and who do we need to beat? So we have three players on the main screen, but they didn't finish their boards yet. So 77%, this is actually a very questionable if Funbridge should show these numbers if the players didn't play that because now I see what's the potential on the other hand I have no idea with um, which score they achieved uh, those 77 so if we scroll a bit so we get the top three trying to beat Pete is leading now with 77.61 and I checked and I played Pete Holland's tournament uh, this week too. It's Imps and trying to beat Pete didn't beat Pete. I tied with Pete, but uh, he just goes to play my tournament and I think there's pretty good chance that uh, this Dutch guy will win this tournament because that's quite a big number, 77%. Marco from Italy is se second with 75.13%. Marco is the sponsor of the daily video, so thank you very much, Marco. Uh, and also, if you guys are interested every day on my YouTube channel, you can watch the daily videos from Funbridge tournaments. And we have Mark here from Australia with 75%, 13 so actually... Uh, that's a second place tying with Days, Dave there, Klaus and others uh, who we know standardly in the top. So let's go and see if I can get close enough to these guys. Okay, 15 high card points and 4, four good honors, 4 quick honors, 4 quick tricks. So that might help immediately if partner is having a semi-balanced hand. Uh, then with a little bit extra with four losers, I'm covering four for sure. And that would be like close, close to a slam. Unfortunately, uh, having the clubs and not having a spade or a hard fit, um, this is tough. So I have to go two spades in here and partner hopefully might be no trumps. If he bit no trumps, I like the diamond lead. I don't mind that. So I'm going to be two spades because I prefer partner to play because of the hard or a spade lead. Of course, I could have just bit Three no trumps, but on the other hand, after two spades, partner should could show like a little bit extra. Maybe if he bits three diamonds there, and the slam. Yeah, if I have three clubs, it will be more promising. Now it's just three no trumps, and hopefully we we get enough enough stoppers. Okay, so diamond lead and partner has six four actually. So this is very close to a slam. We don't have a diamond loser in, if we play clubs. So the club finesse, if that's on, then um, it's actually based on one of two finesses. And see that partner is having only the queen jacks all over the place. But we have the aces. What makes the contract actually good in six is that partner is having uh, good clubs. Because we have only this way one club. Loser if the finesse doesn't work. But the finesse seems to work. Do we need... Okay, I can use my diamond entry, keep the aces and try to finesse the heart. Or actually, there doesn't seem to be any kind of a squeeze. Okay, so this one dropped. I might, I might try to cash my clubs and diamonds. But anyway, so, sooner or later, 
I have to try the heart finesse here. Four of hearts and four of spades. Four of hearts actually might be a good signal because usually the even number is discouraging because Arjun plays Italian carding and now we see the three of hearts. So if West would have the king of hearts, he will most likely play the three of hearts and not the four. So actually I think that the finesse uh, should be on. He even have the five of hearts keeping the spades. So I think that the finesse will be on and we are making seven. Yeah. So that's it. We play it from the right side because if we play from the other one we might get a spade lead and it, later on it might be a bit more risky to try the hard finesse. Now I wasn't risking anything. So this should be a decent score. Yes, yeah, so that's the 77.7%. Quite a standard one, we see that there were only 13 players to reach the slam. Which actually I'm not saying that uh, it's entirely bad, but I was missing one more club. I was missing one more club. And see that uh, the slam was there because Parton had an unbalanced hand, 6-4. And had 2-4-6 losers and we covered 4. And because we covered them for sure with aces, it was based on two finesses, the other two losers. And both of them worked. Okay, 16 high card points. So we beat the clubs and then beat two hearts after a spade. Okay, so now we can beat only one heart. And three no trumps. Uh, this is very questionable now. Because Parn obviously have the spade stopper. But if I beat four clubs... Uh, that's then I probably need to go into a slam because with Arjun I'm not sure if Arjun will not accept this slam invitation uh, with a qubit he will not bid for no trumps so I have to make a decision immediately and we have three four five losers actually um, but we are not sure that we have a fit Barton doesn't have four spades and he doesn't have four hearts. So that's uh, that's a very important actually information. But he might have five diamonds. In that case he might have only two clubs. So it's match points. In teams I don't mind to end up later on in five clubs. If I ask for key cards and Barton has only one then I might stop in five clubs. If he has two, I probably would like to play six clubs if we have a fit. So I'm just I'm just passing. I have extra, but um, no chance to find out. Okay, spade. So the four hopefully might be fourth best because I cannot duck the spades. I need to guess the clubs. Um, which is actually not perfect, but I might have five club tricks, four hearts is nine, ten, eleven, twelve, if everything works out. So I can actually duck the spade once. And they cannot, yeah, I can duck the spade once. Uh, you always should count what is the potential for the defenders and what is the potential for you. Uh, I would love to cash the club ace and then play the jack in the second round. Unfortunately, I don't have entries because I need to keep the ace king for later um, later on. So I can duck one. Because it's always good if you can cash uh, with Arjun one because then you see what uh, east-west are discarding. And sometimes you can guess the doubleton queen behind. Of course, in here there might be even a singleton queen behind. I like the three of spades in here. Because that means that spades break 4-4. Four, four. So I'm making the contract if I play the jack of clubs and finesse. Okay, it's not covered. It's not covered and east plays the five. So only if West plays the three, 
There might actually be four clubs with East. Or a Doubleton. But if West plays... Uh, he might he might not cover with the third queen because he see he sees this one so I have to duck it's not working I think it might be a doubleton if West will play the three of clubs okay spades are four four so that worked. Um, I can claim now, but I'm wondering if really there was a doubleton queen behind and I could have guessed that. No, it was third. So that's fine. So I couldn't do anything about that. And the slam is always down. So if I decide to try to go for six clubs, it's actually also based on a finesse. Because I can discard the heart on a diamond and I can rough one spade. So basically three no trumps and six clubs. Well, three no trumps. Three no trumps plus the overtricks are the same chance. And that's why uh, we are getting 63% because some people tried for a slam and went down. See that these guys, 36 people went down from three no trumps. That's strange actually. Four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. They probably tried the hearts and then cash the ace king uh, of clubs, and that didn't work out. So they was afraid that spades break five, five, three, and that's why it was important that we tested it with the ducking the first round of spades, because then Arjun, if he has four. And he played the honor in the first round. He played the lowest card if he has three left, so originally four. If he will have only two left, he will play the higher one. Okay, 16 high card points. Very nice hand for no trumps because we have quick tricks and a source of tricks. So definitely a maximum, I would say even a super maximum if we have a hard fit or if we are going into no trumps. Okay, we have a hard fit, so... I really like my hand now. I have three aces, King Doubleton with potential rough of the third round. I have a source of tricks, so I might discard the diamond losers. So let's see. I was tempted to beat three hearts even. Okay, and partner passed. Let's see how strong he is. Okay, Singleton King, all the diamonds. They probably win this one, otherwise we discard it. So see that even with this hand, like singleton king, we have a chance for making a game if a couple of finesses works. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we got the spades. Queen and three. Ace and six. So I guess that Wests will have five. It probably it might matter because now I need to guess the heart position. So it either might be that uh, West has a doubleton honor, then I need to play low immediately, and then once I get the trick with the king of clubs, I can finesse uh, the third honor with East. Or I might play for a doubleton honor with East, because then I can play the Jack, and if he covers, then I can play the heart towards the 10. So what might be better? If there is a singleton honor, hmm, there is singleton honor with West, no one bid though. Um... There's also a chance that both honors are with East. Then I have a chance that West drops the doubleton 9. So because of that, it's probably better to cross with the club and play the Jack. Later on, I need I need to finesse the diamonds. I don't have that, ma that many entries though. So they might short me down with the spades if I... 
if I lose my entries too soon. I'm playing for... I don't know why, guys, but I'm I'm going to play for a doubleton honor with West. Okay. Hmm. I might even play the eight now. But he might have a doubleton. He might he might have a doubleton nine nine seven. So I play the jack and try to play the ten in the second round. It's strange that uh, West, if he has doubleton or third queen, he didn't jump. That's another chance, you know, what they what they can do, that they jump with the third queen, which will also help us. I have to try the finesse, although I'm not very happy. I hope that they don't get a diamond rough. Okay. And now I need to make a decision. So diamonds are good. Everything is good. Can West really have the doubleton honor? Can he have a free card or a four card actually even? And that's probably what I need to play for. I can still lose two two trump tricks. And East was it wanted with the king, so I don't think that he's having the queen. Hmm. Very tough. Very, t very tough situation right now. I mean, playing the seven. Um, clubs six and a five. So that's actually five will be in even number. And West, I'm missing the three and the four. So if one has the two, then the other one uh, might have played a middle one from free small. So West might actually have three clubs. If he has five, five spades, and East play the four of diamonds. So four of diamonds, that's not the fourth best for sure. Well, not for sure. He might also have a doubleton. So that means that West will have a free card. Most likely. Or a full card. So I'm going to play a small one. Ah! Doubleton 9! Okay, he, he, he's got the queen. So at least I, I didn't guess... I, I guessed uh, the count at the end. See, so maybe maybe based on that, I could have played the club towards the king, play the diamond, try to find out the count, but I don't have that many entries to the to the north hand uh, to make 10 tricks. Because guessing the king of hearts, doubleton will actually give me 10 tricks. Yeah, 42% only because uh, more, well, Less people guessed it. 127 guessed it right. And there was 200 who played who played free hearts. Yeah. This was this was a difficult one. Okay, 5 4 minors and three aces. Hmm. Okay, 15 count. I don't want to open a no trump in this board. I want to play no trumps from partner's hand. And I need a little bit extra from his side. So I'm showing my 5-4. I have, I have the stopper. Two hearts shows actually a maximum. I have the stopper. If hearts, if partner doesn't have 4 hearts, which he probably doesn't, hearts split 4-4 four, four because of this double. So they might have only three hard tricks and then uh, I might give them one. So because of the aces, I actually want to go into three no trumps. Because if partner is having five spades, we have a chance either to establish diamonds or to establish spades. So I'm going three no trumps. Okay, club. 
Wow, six spades. So we have six, seven, eight, nine, we have ten tricks. How about if we play spades? We lose a club. We lose a heart. So actually, we probably have 11 tricks. If we manage to rough or establish or establish the diamond. So hopefully the diamonds doesn't split free free. Uh, the lead is from ace queen because otherwise east might jump with the ace and play the club back. So actually I might be able to rough only one heart in here. So I want to win this one. And cash the spades. It's strange that Pardon just bid like this with a good six card. That he didn't jump to three spades with the fourth jack. Okay, split, spades split four one. Uh which is which might be a little bit of trouble in four hearts. Because then people might try to rough two hearts and that will not work out. Uh, we get a club discard. So I need to discard four times. So one, two. We can afford to discard one diamond. And I will discard a heart, I guess. Okay, two clubs. Hmm. A West actually five five of diamonds discard. I had a smaller one. So that might be free free. So if West needs to keep free three diamonds. Yeah, well I'm I don't think that I have a chance to establish a diamond. Yeah, if I play a diamond, they just draw two rounds of clubs and they might... Ac can they actually cash three rounds? I think they can, so I have to cash the Ace of Hearts. I don't like it, but there was a chance that uh, they might discard the last heart on the diamond winner and cash three clubs. Yeah, we guessed that right. And then he got the ace is on side, so that's actually bad that the ace of clubs is on side. So let's see. 86%. Okay, so that's good. Only eight people managed to win 11 tricks here. So I'm happy about that. That's fine. Quite a lot of comments, guys, here. Why does Arjun bid four diamonds after East competes with two hearts? And I pass. Okay, guys, what's going on? So you probably have completely different biddings. Hmm. Okay, so A says baby, open one no trump. And that's that's what I don't suggest you guys to do with two two majors. But the idea is not not because of that, but you don't want to play no trumps from your side. Positioning is the key. Right? And and it's partner's decision that he transfers no trumps uh in our hand. Okay, uh I have no natural call, so I pass. Well, you don't have you don't have a natural call because you didn't open one diamond. Then you might have a free club or a double.
North jumps to four diamonds with an explanation of at least five diamonds enforcing. Okay, so I think um, based on why well, it's trench, you know, if it goes two hearts, pass, pass, and then four diamonds, and it comes a stay a stamen first. So that's why that's why you are confused. Definitely it might be a wrong explanation, but what I found out is if there won't be two hearts, so the bidding goes two clubs pass to diamonds. I think Arjun is jumping to four clubs for diamonds to show a six four hand in majors. And see that that's that's a really a good experience for the future that even after an overcall, he keeps doing the same. So that's why, that's why people were uh, confused if you open one no trump. Because then you played six diamonds here. Unfortunately, in, I, cannot, uh, I cannot have a look. Because if I do four diamonds, yeah, well, at least five cards. But we know it's not right, because this should be three diamonds. So even after five spades, you probably should know that this is, that something smells. See that five spades already says between six and eight cards. But between five and seven cards in diamonds, that's just, that's just, um... A mistake there left from the natural style of bidding. Okay, now we have a 15 high card points for a no trump opening. Although vulnerable against knots, I'm not very happy to do that. Uh, because if we go down for 100, opponents might have only 90. Okay, but pardon has a maximum. Now I'm afraid that I have a garbage hand. Maybe I should have downgraded. I'm not very happy about this one. Okay, partner has a fit. We have three, four, five. So if we manage to get uh, nine, sorry, four diamond tricks, then we have we have three no trumps. And. We need a finesse, even though partner came with 11 high card points. So 26, see how bad our hand is. Four, four, triple three. I mean, if I have a different full card, for example, spades, this would be a much better contract. Okay, so again, so four of clubs, it might be from four if we see east uh, with the three. So I might duck this one again, because uh, I don't mind to lose a club. See, and this is five. So since West is having five, I might actually uh, cash one spade trick. Maybe even two. So five and three. So what does that mean? One might have a doubleton and the other one might have five. So let's see. Okay, so east will probably have four spades and west will have three spades. Yeah, so we know about five clubs with West and three spades there. So there is only five cards left for diamonds and hearts. And it's more, more likely that West is having three hearts. We can play a heart too, but then it will be actually too risky later on. Um, so I'm going to finesse East for the Queen unless... Well, unfortunately, even if the eight drops... Five. Actually, if we see the three, there is a doubleton queen there. Oh, the singleton queen drops. Okay, so that makes it easy. 
Um, so could he have led from short? Short clubs because he has four diamonds now. So if he has three spades, only four diamonds, he will have a singleton hard, which is possible. Uh, or he might not have the clubs. But since he's this discarding, discarding the hearts like crazy, that might be the case. And if I lead the heart. I still have communication now, so if they lead a club, uh, I'm still going to lose two hearts. If there is ace honor, I I can't do I can't do more, unfortunately. Ten. So he might even have. No, he discarded three, so he will have only two spades now. Sorry, two hearts now. If I play a heart. They play a club. Okay, so what is um, East is keeping two spades, two hearts, and a club. So if I play a heart, he has to play a spade. But West might not find out. Can I try? Can I try actually to score 10 tricks now? So if I play a hard and West jumps with the singleton king or an ace. If he plays a club, I'm good. If he plays a spade, uh, then East will have the tricks. But he will give me the club later on. Am I going to risk it, guys? Am I going to risk it? Woof. But I'm playing only that Arjun will make a, a huge mistake here. I'm not playing for that. Ah. Wait. So he said queen jack in clubs, queen of diamonds. If he has ace king in hearts, fifth, he will open one heart. So it's almost guaranteed that West is having a singleton ace or singleton king in hearts. Five clubs. And East is having four spades and one club. So I think I think I can play a heart. And hope that West plays a club and not a spade. Okay, he's got the singleton ace. Give me a club now. Club! Now, he's smart. And he has the top, top spade winner here. Okay, but well, I tried. You know, uh, if you don't try, you never get an extra trick. You never get it. That would be a top score if I make 10 tricks. Yeah, see? Ah! Who did it? Who did it? Congrats. Raul. Okay, how did you manage? Diamonds. So that's actually helpful. And now you squeeze him immediately. He discarded the spade. And he still kept three hearts. So, where did it go wrong? You ants play him. No, you play the hearts. Yeah, you had entries, so you lost only three hearts. And that's because of the diamonds. So, one club, one heart, one no trump. So, because of the one club opening, you didn't get a club lead. And maybe that's why. Hmm. Well done. And by not being scared of playing the hearts. So congrats for a sure top score. That's very well done. I was close. I was close there, guys. But Arjun paid attention. Okay, I might move myself a bit, but it might be too late. 
that's uh, you see the description uh, but based on the previous examples you see that sometimes don't watch the description Arjun has a pattern uh, how she bids for example this one I mean I don't want to pass one no Trump because if we have a major fit there will be definitely a better contract there uh, but I will probably overbid I don't have a garbage statement here um, well, maybe I might try. Okay, too hard, so that's good. Right now, do I have an invitation? Um, two owners only. Four, 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 one. That's actually a bad hand, so I'm going to pass. But I think two hearts is better than passing one no Trump. So, actually, I should beat all those players who are in one no Trump. Definitely. Okay, so we hopefully don't have a hard loser. Now I can choose which side I'm actually trying to figure out uh, which side to count the losers. And it's easier to do the north because it's more high cards and I can simply rub the diamond. Then I have the club loser, maybe two club losers and I have two sure spade losers, maybe three. So I actually want, I want to play uh, the clubs. And I think I don't mind to play it immediately because I need more entries. Five, don't give me, oh, okay. So now we have definitely a club loser. Okay, this is helpful actually because we can just exit we can rough a diamond cash the queen of hearts and exit with the club that that if the right player has the first round of clubs which actually might be the west he might be end played because he will be out of hearts, he will be out of clubs, so he would have to lead a diamond or a spade. Okay, so are we lucky? Ah, jack of hearts, so that's promising that that's doubleton. And now we can, uh, where do we need an entry? Um, probably doesn't matter where, if this guy has longer. So if he has only two hearts, three clubs, um, he had a lot of diamonds, minimum five. So it probably doesn't matter. Okay, that's good. That's good. Give me a trick. Now they get a spade rough, I guess. They get a spade rough. Yeah. Ah, pity. But it was close. It was close. But see, spade split 3-3, free, free, so I didn't have a chance to win uh, the trick. So they managed well. They managed well, but again, I tried. 82%. See that three players, three players manage that. So show me how. Transfer. Okay. Hmm. Keeping, keeping the heart here means that they can play a diamond and you don't get an extra trick. So actually that was not that good. He roughed, and that was a mistake. He roughed. He roughed the club. If he doesn't, now he's end plate. Yeah. Okay. So Arjun mistake, and we are sixty nine percent and two boards to go. So if I get a top score um, at one board and the other one reasonable, I might get over seventy percent. Okay, two, four, six, seven losers, but not enough for opening. 
Okay, well that that save save me the troubles uh, to think if to be two spades over one no trump. Normally with my style, this is six card hearts, yeah, and and a slam try. So because the king of spades will be behind. Wow, five diamonds. Okay, partner, give me, give me a spade lead. They might not have actually a uh, spade cubit because this guy bit five diamonds, not four spades. Spade. Oh, it's my turn. Okay. So what do we know? Four clubs is a cubit control. Four diamonds is a cubit and five diamonds is a cubit. So the king of spades is with east. Because he jumps to six spades. It might even be that he can have a singleton. I might lead a low club because if I lead the queen, I'm, I'm a bit too scared that they finesse my queen jack. They might discard the spades on the diamonds. So I have 10 points. You know, that's that's the risky thing. I have 10 high cards and they're trying for a slam. So that means that partner has nothing. And I have to win all the tricks. So if they have 4 diamonds, they will have 6 hearts, 4 diamonds, which is 10. Ace, king and clubs is 12. And then I will be squeezed for a club and and the spade. So actually probably I have to catch the ace of spades, guys. I have to catch the ace of spades. And east might even have seven hearts. So that means that if I don't catch the ace, I might get squeezed and not make even a single trick. It might be a problem if Opponents cannot cash for diamond tricks. But I don't think I'm cashing the ace. Oh, five diamond tricks. Okay. But four diamonds is a singleton. But actually, uh, okay, six, ten, eleven, twelve. Mm, I might be actually squeezed. I need to attack the clubs because we know that partner doesn't have that. So, but he has time to establish the diamonds. He has the king of spades. So actually it didn't matter now, but he could have discarded all the spades, I guess. Okay, he had three and a singleton. Partner had five, five diamonds. So that was an issue. But he will discard the club. Yeah, so I gave it away, actually. The ace of spades gave it away. So this will be a bottom. See how close it was. Uh, that he has only 11 tricks. No, actually he has 12, luckily. He has 12. Because if I don't lead a spade and I lead a club, he wins, uh, draw two rounds of trumps, and on two diamonds, discards... No, if he discards two spades, then he doesn't have the rough. I gave it away. This is a bottom. This is a bottom. See, I counted well that Pardon doesn't have not anything. I knew about the king of spades there, so I knew that. Uh, but the diamond cubit was was a little bit. If that if that was a cubit with with an honor, then uh, I will be in troubles. Or if there is a ten of diamonds, twenty percent. See that I could have seventy four um, if I just lead a club or something else. Yeah. Okay, I tried. See how many people tried, actually. 154. So, quite a lot. I'm happy that I was not the only one. So, that wouldn't be a top score, but it will be over 80%.
Okay, well that's life. Some fun, sometimes you you must make a risk. And imps, this will be a disaster. Okay, 13 high card points. I don't have a bid. My double is strong. So I have to let them play. Oh, partner bids. Wow, partner bids. And now actually I want to play four spades. So if, if partner has only two diamonds, so we are losing two diamonds, and then I need two top tricks from ace, king and ace, because I can cover all the hard losers. I need north to play, so I might try if he has five spades. So I might ask with two diamonds. If he bits, okay, so two hearts is either four, four, or he has five, four. Five hearts, four spades. But I'm going four spades. I mean, uh, the doubleton king of hearts, that's nuts. Hopefully, they will lead a club or partner has a singleton diamonds. It's a very low chance, but it is. If I bid three spades, hmm, non forcing. I just bid four spades. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just aggressive in these in these boards. I need two out of these three owners, and we're good. Diamond lead, not good. And partner has two out of those three owners. So this might be good enough. We might not have entries though, but we might cross rough. Eight. So partner eight points. We had 21 together. So 19 high card points in between east and west. Um, nine, nine winners in diamonds. So West is having the queen that keeps 17 high card points. So I probably need to cross with a spade and try to work on, uh, on the hearts. I can play a low heart. Oh, probably I have to play the jack and finesse the queen. Okay, he jumps, so that's good. And now he should play two rounds of diamonds to shorten me down. Because then I will need. Yeah. I actually didn't notice the heart, guys. I didn't notice the heart. Three. Three and a seven. So was it an eight or was it a smaller one? But anyway, I don't have a chance, so I probably have to cross rough. So King of Clubs club rough. Heart rough. Club rub heart rough. So I need the Jack of Spades with East. And that's that's a valid presumption if he has the maximum so hopefully he doesn't have a doubleton doubleton club yeah well, it's risky. I need him to have 17 high card points. Yay! So, actually you need you need a good card play, guys, if you are bidding aggressive, and also you need a little bit of luck. But see, well, it wasn't like that bad. I mean, they did well, they did perfectly not to play three diamonds immediately, but to switch to a club, because then I need to waste my entry 
Play the heart. Yeah, it was close. It was close and 96%. Yay! So I got back to 66, but I'm wondering if I do well on this board, how how high actually could I get? So I will score 74%. If I would be playing, I will double six hearts too. But 74 instead of uh, 19. So that's 55 difference divided by 8. That's almost 8%. So that might be almost 8% difference and that will be 74% average. If I don't lead the Ace of Spades uh, against the Slam. And 74% will be the top 3. Will be actually close this, uh, with these guys who did really well. And trying to beat Pete, Nick Disseldorp from, ne from the Netherlands. Uh, did did amazing with uh, 77 so beating the slam and then one more one more actually uh, results and it was close that I didn't get it on the main uh, main screen so Marco Swain Eric good bad ugly guy natural two clubs slash Debrak and Pip Pirate Godul is a little bit behind. Hinek, Neo, Kashtanek is uh, one of the Czech juniors. I have to tell him to put the name. Name there. Okay. And let's see for the others. Here you go, David. Yitka, Jam Munich, and all of you guys. 57 scoring. Erika, very well done, 55%. Martin Ivan. Christian, only 48. Okay, Sherp, 47. Do I have my kids playing? Amanda here, 40%. Something went wrong. And Nulda. Nulda uh, resigned from playing the tournament, probably 21%. Once you score below 30, that's actually that you resign from the tournament. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed. It, uh, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Funbridge YouTube channel. And also, if you are interested for the daily videos or for the M tournament, just go to my YouTube channel. Just uh, put in Milan Matsura in YouTube and you will get the other video. And uh, of course, I will appreciate if you join the live stream with us because uh, there is a lot of discussion there and we're having fun not only playing the IMP tournament but also playing a couple of challenges which are already waiting for us. So, see you, see you next week. Stay safe.